Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, I will talk about anime. First, I will review the pathophysiology of the RBC. As you know, blood composed of plasma and a blood cell. And there are three types of blood cell, including the RBC, red blood cell, which are responsible for oxygen transport, and platelet, which are responsible for the uh, hemostasis and uh, leukocyte which is responsible for the immune system the main function of the RBC is to transport oxygen from the lungs to the tissue and transport carbon dioxide from the tissue to the lung also they help in the acid base balance Oxygen transport is carried by the hemoglobin of the, which is present in the RBC. Hemoglobin basically composed of polypeptide chain and four molecules of heme, which contain iron. So each molecule of hemoglobin can carry four molecules of oxygen. RBC production occur inside the bone marrow uh, and in adult this active bone marrow occur in the end of long bone and in the flat bone like uh, ribs and clavicle. This process called erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis is mainly under drive of erythropoietin, a hormone secreted from the kidney in response to hypoxia. So more hypoxia, more erythropoietin production, more RBC production. RBC production also require an essential element like iron, folic acid, and B12. The average lifespan of RBC is about 120 days. After that, the RBC are destroyed in the uh, reticular endothelial system in the spleen and liver by the macrophage. The hemoglobin inside the RBC again destroyed into, split into globin, a protein used in the body, and heme. Heme now split into iron, which is utilized again in the process of thrombosis to produce RBC, and bilirubin, a side product secreted by the gallbladder with the bile. Now what is anemia? Anemia means a reduction in the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood and this might result from reduction in the hemoglobin content or reduction in the RBC count. There are three main causes of anemia including blood loss, Decrease RBC production in the bone marrow, I mean decrease effect defect in the erythropoiesis, or increase RBC destruction, or to call hemolytic anemia. Blood loss, whether from the GIT, from the genital tract, or from external injury, uh, can be acute or chronic. Acute blood loss. Uh, severe blood, acute blood loss can lead to development of shock before development of anemia because anemia and blood loss need several hours after hemodilution while chronic blood loss <coughs> usually result in uh, iron deficiency anemia and subsequent development of anemia decrease RBC production defect erythro in erythropoiesis might result from deficiency of essential elements like iron b12 folic acid defect reduction in the level of erythropoietin or problem in the primary hemopoietic cell called a plastic anemia iron deficiency anemia considered the most common uh, type of anemia in the community and iron deficiency might result from blood loss from malabsorption effect in the absorption of iron as in uh, celiac disease or malnutrition. 
B12 deficiency usually caused by uh, pernicious anemia and autoimmune disease affect the B12 deficiency. Erythropoietin deficiency occur in patients with chronic renal failure and this will lead to defect in the RBC production and subsequent anemia. Aplastic anemia means primary defect in the hemopoietic cell, the primitive cell in the bone marrow which are responsible for RBC production and this might be uh, primary idiopathic or uh, maybe secondary to uh, other causes like certain drugs or radiation. The third major type of anemia is hemolytic anemia and this might result from inherited causes for example thalassemia, فقدم بحر متوسط سكل سيل انيميا فقدم منجلي or G6P deficiency. In this type of hemolytic anemia, usually there is long history of anemia since early childhood and there is positive family history of anemia. While acquired type of hemolytic anemia, what we call autoimmune hemolytic anemia, this can occur at any age and may be primary idiopathic or secondary to certain infection or hematological disorder like uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Clinical features of anemia depend on severity of anemia and rate of development of anemia. Generally, symptoms occur when the level drop below 7, but patients with rapidly developing anemia with acute blood loss, the symptom might occur even at level of uh, 10 or 9 grams per deciliter. Also, associated uh, condition like patient, for example, with cardiac disease or with respiratory disease might develop symptom earlier than those with uh, without this disease symptoms of anemia including weakness easy fatigue uh, drowsiness feeling of headache vertigo uh, tinnitus and in severe cases um, patient might develop uh, palpitation dyspnea or even uh, syncope Syncope means transient loss of consciousness. <clears throat> there are certain symptoms if present in anemic patient give us a hint to the underlying cause of anemia. For example, signs of symptoms of bleeding. For example, melina mean tarry color stool. Uh, melina mean a black color stool which occur in upper GI bleeding. For example, in bleeding peptic ulcer. Or hematochesia mean fresh bleeding per rectum, or hematemesis mean vomiting of blood. Uh, this symptom in anemic patient indicate the cause of anemia is blood loss and mean iron deficiency anemia. Presence of dark yellow discoloration, dark urine and yellow discoloration of skin and sclera in anemic patient suggest hemolysis because hemolysis result in uh, elevation of level of bilirubin. History of weight loss in anemic patient in childhood may suggest uh, malabsorption in elderly may suggest uh, underlying malignancy. History of recurrent bone pain or chest pain in anemic patient suggests sickle cell anemia because in this type of anemia there is a recurrent infarction, micro infarction in the bone or in the uh, small vessel of the uh, the mesentery lead to recurrent bone pain or chest pain. Again, uh, history of paresthesia in the limb in anemic patient suggests B12 deficiency. There are also certain signs of uh, physical sign if present in anemic patient also help in the diagnosis of cause of anemia. Of course, for diagnosis of anemia, uh, we look for the conjunctiva and for the palm. As you can see in this patient, there is pallor of a conjunctiva and pallor of the palm and palm creases. These are uh, signs of anemia in general. But the presence of colonychia mean concave nail when you put a drop of water in this patient on the nail of this patient the drop will stay on the nail it's called coilonychia 
This sign occur in patients with long-standing iron deficiency anemia. So it helps in the diagnosis of anemia. Presence of jaundice, yellowish discoloration of the sclera of the skin, and plus splenomegaly. These signs suggest hemolytic anemia, whether inherited or acquired. Presence of bleeding from the gum, from the skin, uh, indicate association of low platelet with anemia, and this may occur in patients with ITP, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, or in patients with hematological malignancy, for example, leukemia. Presence of glossitis and atrophy of the papillae in patients with anemia suggests uh, B12 deficiency, especially in association with peripheral neuropathy, as we said, numbness of the limb. This occurs in B12 deficiency because it affects the uh, nervous system and hematological system. These are other signs of bleeding tendency. As you can see, these are pinpointed bleeding, fatigue you call, or and this diffuse bleeding, ecchymosis. Presence of this sign with anemia again indicate platelet disorder, which occur in uh, certain hematological disorder like leukemia and aplastic anemia. For evaluation of patient with anemia, there are three essential investigations, including complete blood count, blood film, and direct count. In complete blood count, we look for the level of hemoglobin to assess severity of anemia. Uh, look for the number of the RBC. Look for the MCV RBC indices. Mean MCV mean mean corpuscular volume. According to the size of the RBC, you can cal classify anemia into normocytic, macrocytic, and microcytic. Also, look to the uh, count of the uh, leukocyte white blood cell. For example. Low leukocyte count occur for in patient with aplastic anemia. High level occur in patient with leukemia. And lastly, look for the platelet count. Low platelet count also in patient with anemia suggest uh, ITP or plastic anemia or leukemia. So blood count important in the important step in the evaluation of patient with anemia. Second important investigation is blood film. In the blood film, for, look for the morphology of the RBC and for the uh, morphology of the uh, immature, look for immature leukocyte called blood cell. In the evaluation of the RBC, according to the size, we can classify anemia into uh, normocytic anemia, which occur in uh, for example, anemia of chronic illness and aplastic anemia or macrocytic anemia, which occur in megaloblastic anemia, B12 deficiency, or microcytic anemia, which occur in patients with iron deficiency and with thalassemia. Also, presence of certain morphology of the RBC help in the diagnosis. For example, presence of target cell uh, suggests thalassemia or presence of sickle cell which indicate sickle cell anemia. The function of the reticulocyte count it helps to uh, divide the anemia into two types hemolytic and non-hemolytic. High retic count indicate hemolytic anemia. Retic are a primitive stage or a, a immature a RBC. So normally there is less than 2% of the circulating RBC are retic. Increase this percentage indicate hemolytic anemia. Other laboratory tests for patients with anemia including bone marrow, aspirate and biopsy uh, for certain patients like those with aplastic anemia or megaloplastic anemia or with leukemia to confirm the diagnosis. Uh, assessment of level of serum bilirubin in patients with hemolytic anemia as we said, uh, there is increase in bilirubin level and assessment of the uh, iron level in patients with iron deficiency anemia 
uh, iron level serum ferritin to confirm diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia and B12 uh, level to confirm diagnosis of megaloplastic anemia. Treatment of anemia uh, depend on the type of anemia. For example, patient with iron deficiency anemia uh, need replacement with the iron either oral or parenteral of course after correction of the underlying cause for example peptic ulcer menorrhagia patient with megaloplastic anemia replaced by uh, b12 uh, vitamins patient with aplastic anemia treated with uh, immunosuppressive agent or with definite treatment by a bone marrow transplant patient with thalassemia Inherited, uh, inherited the hemolytic anemia treated with repeated blood transfusion and folic acid replacement and definite treatment is by uh, bone marrow transplant. Blood transfusion in patients with anemia usually preserved for those with active and controlled blood loss. Otherwise, you need to correct the cause rather than blood transfusion. By this slide, I finish my lecture and if you have any question, you can contact me on the Telegram. Thank you.